Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Now, today we're going to take a look at Natarim. This is a free-to-play, 2D browser-based MMORPG set in Arabic mythology, kind of Arabian Nights, stuff like that. So as you can see, I'm already logged in. I've created my account. When you create your account, you automatically create your character name. And you can see you've got a bunch of different game languages you can choose from, so it's already uh, translated into several different game languages. You can see your server is Wahid. Click here to change your server. No, I'm good with that. You can see the population on the server is pretty decent, 164,000, which is kind of nice to see. A lot of different players probably in there. Now, we are right now set up with the Warrior. We've got a couple different options here. It's kind of interesting. We've got uh, what looks like some missing buttons here or something like that, like this should be next or, or whatever. So as you can see, I was able to change my, my gender, my class, uh, without... Uh, without any little options. So it looks like something's bugging out there. We also got some different hair options. And so there's not, not too much as far as that's concerned. As you can see, my avatar is changing. We're gonna go ahead and uh, look at all the different classes. So it looks like we've got a warrior, we've got a rogue, and we've got a sage. So pretty basic system, male, female. No, uh, no races right now, but I guess because that's kind of based in some, some, some world history some real world history i guess is probably why we're not seeing any races even though there is a sage which is a magic user and all that good jazz so we're gonna go ahead and go with mail and let's see some of the different things that are available here you know we're gonna go with the mohawk i don't want to spend too much time on this and then we will go with a warrior so nice uh big axe and shield and you can see health damage defense speed you can see you've got a bunch of different attributes that that are going on there but let's jump into the game and get going so let's hit play let that load up it's a pretty cool loading screen looks like we've got some sea monsters there in the background oh it's kind of cool it's also rotating through this this uh this chick's got some lion pets and all that so once we get in right away we can see we got a little story here kind of cool it's got like kind of a cartoony feel to it we're going to skip that you guys can watch that on your own if you'd like so we've got click on your screen to move your character. All right, so it looks like we can move our little guy around. And you can see there's this little green arrow here. Now this is this is one thing that I really like about the game is pointing us to where our next kind of task is as far as the quests are concerned. You can see we do have some other characters here or some other player characters running around. So it's kind of nice to see right as we log in, we've got other players running around. But you can certainly see the 2D isometric aspect, kind of a zoomed out, so to say, um, version of Diablo. Graphically, the game looks really, really nice. You can see these sails have a lot of detail to them. They've got a, this whole dock has a lot of detail to it as far as all the things that are going on there. So a lot, a lot of stuff, time spent on that. So let's go ahead and complete that quest. Let's pick up the next one. And you can see we've got an energy requirement. So we've got energy here on the right side of our little avatar in the upper left hand corner. And as you progress through and do different quests and actions and stuff like that, it requires energy. Slowly get energy back uh, over time. So you can either you can either kind of just let it slowly come back, or you can take and uh, you can purchase some energy in the in the game's item shop. But we'll, we'll we'll see the item shop here in a second. I also like the fact that it's kind of cool. It's like we're inside of this 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 tome or this book here. So it's like the story is unfolding as we're playing along. So it's kind of a cool little feature. All right, so we've got our little arrow. We're gonna head over here, talk to this guy, true companion, and we've got our first fight. Kind of nice that we jump right into it. Now, right as we get into this fight, we can see it's essentially a turn-based kind of strategy combat. We've got a few different skills we can choose from. We've got Painful Cut inflicts moderate damage to the target. We've got Focus Strike and three in, in, inflicts light damage, increases the critical hit chances for two turns. And then we've got Ambitious Blow. It inflicts heavy damage to the target, removes one beneficial effect from the target. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and use that one, and let's run on over there and lay the smack down. So there we go. We hit him for like 54 damage. He hit us for 29. Now, we've got a, a cooldown on that. As you can see, we've got two, tur two, tur two rounds, not turns, they use rounds. So we're gonna switch back to our, our little number two there and go ahead and see if we can take him out. Nope, of course, it wasn't powerful enough because that one went his moderate damage, but we'll take him out this time. 
So there we go. All done. You have received these rewards. Nothing. Your side the winner. The opponent's side. And all good. So you can see the combat is really basic. But you can see where uh, it could get really complex. If you're partying up with some people and you got all your different... All the different player characters on the left hand side and all the different monsters or whoever on the right hand side could get really interesting and, and, and stuff like that once you've got a bunch of different different players in there. So it looks like we were going to get rewards of some EXP and a Dijin for one day. So alright, let's finish that quest and then we can go into our character page, take a look at what we've got in there. And there's our Dijin, so let's go ahead and double click him. Now because the game is flash based, you're not going to be able to right click anything, so you're going to want to make sure you're double clicking stuff. But you can see in here we've got health, we can actually take and we can, we can bump this up if we want to by spending real world money. We're not going to do that right now. This is kind of cool, we've got our fame, which right now we're a journeyman, but you can see by highlighting over that we can see all the different ones that we can achieve, adventure, explorer, so on and so forth as you progress through the game. You got a bunch of different slots here, and hopefully we'll find start finding some stuff real quick. So let's get let's get some more quests and get plowing through these. And we've got this quest: drive off the sea monster, some XP, some some uh, dinars, and some healing potion. Let's go ahead and accept that. We're gonna cruise over here and take this little sea monster out. You can see he's right there in the ground. We just click on him, and we'll run over and let the battle begin. So we've got our Dijin, we've got ourselves. We're gonna go ahead and lay the smack down on this guy. Run over there, hit him with our little our little mace or our ball and chain, and then we're gonna attack this guy up here with our Dijin. He's gonna be a little. He's got a little magic to him. Kind of funny that this little tentacle attacked him from way over there, but that's all good. We're gonna go ahead and take that out right now, and there we go. All done. We got uh, an adventure satchel, which we'll take a look at here right now. So let's go in there. We got this adventure sac satchel, and as you saw before, I could just double click it. But this is one thing that I think is really cool. Even though it's two dimensional, you're gonna see that satchel, there it is, shows up right on my character. So kind of cool they spent all the time to do all the different art pieces and all the different items and stuff like that to be able to show them right on the, uh, right on the avatar there. So let's go ahead and turn in this quest now that we've completed it. Finish quest, and we've also leveled up. We can go and we can stuff like this that's really relevant. They've got everything tied right into Facebook, so you can got a little share button right there. So let's confirm that and we move on to this guy over here. Now it's it's kind of funny though because all of the all of the little character avatars that are running around they're exactly the same. So you can see, look at all the warriors right here. They're all lined up in a row. So either way, so we're gonna gather some missing pages for this guy. So like I said, it's really nice and easy because you can see you've got this uh, green arrow leading the way. So, but we're going to interact with some, some little pages here on the ground, pick them up. Let's grab that one. And how many more do we need? We need two more, one more. Look, I thought I already picked up three, but hey, whatever. Let's grab this one and call it a day. So one thing that's kind of nice with all these different outside pieces is you can actually move these around so you can move them around to wherever you want so they're kind of uh, independent of the actual game so even this chat box here we can move this around to where we want we can actually have it on the screen or off the screen so that part is kind of neat I've never seen anything like that for a browser based game but it's kind of nice that, the, that they're all independent and, and able to be moved around like that so return to him items delivered and we've got some some gems, which is kind of nice. Finish that off, and we're gonna be—they're gonna get us to spend those. They're so sneaky. Ask around about Prince Priestess Zahida. All right, so let's start cruising over this way. Follow our little green arrow. And what's cool so far is all the quests have been kind of different. So it's nice to see that all the quests aren't the exact same kind of uh, go kill X number of monsters and get Y number of pieces off of them and all that stuff so that there's definitely some depth to the the type of quest that that the game has in in its uh in its structure at least here in the beginning we'll see how that changes now i know the other thing later on is you're going to have access to these buildings that you're going to be able to just uh run them over and over and over again so you'll be able to go inside the build building and fight and then you'll come out of the building and you'll go be able to go back in and fight again and stuff like that so there is some 
uh, kind of grind elements, but not too much. So there we go. Level three. Let's confirm. We've got a new a new we got a new skill. Last time we also got some skill points and we got a new shield. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's go in here and take a look at what we've got in here. So we've got a fine Vanquisher's Veil, which right now we've only got a Vanquisher's Veil equipped. It's a little better damage, some better health and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and and uh, equip that. Sorry, Vanquisher's Flail, not Veil. So and then we've got a Vanquisher's Round Shield. Looks like we're gonna lose some damage, but we're gonna lot, get a lot of other bonuses. So you know what, we're gonna equip that. And there we go. Like I said, we can see all the different things that are going on our guy, which is kind of cool. We've got a bunch of open slots here as well. So it's kind of neat to see that there are a lot of open slots and a lot of different places to place equipment. Even you can see here this Vanquisher shirt. It doesn't necessarily have any attributes on it. It's just kind of an undershirt. So once again, another another place where you're able to see the, the avatar change and, and stuff like that. So there's a little the gin we got, our little buddy. Now you got goods and collectibles. Gin mark, double, double click to read its contents. So there we go. And it's kind of some storyline stuff right there. So let's get out of here. Let's go take a look at our spells. So you can see we picked up this Swift Blade at level two, click and drag the icon, but it already put it, put it in there for us. And then we got Cleave. We can also take and look at all the different skills that we've got coming up at level four, Throwing Axe, Battle Cry, and then all the way down to uh, Morale Breaker at level 25. Now we can go down here on our on our hot bar and highlight over that. So inflicts moderate damage to target. Cleave inflicts damage to all adjacent enemies. So you kind of got your your sweeping attack, so to say. We've got our quest list. Right now we don't have any quests. And then we've got our map. Let's take a look at our map. The one cool thing about the map, you can't you can't zoom in on your uh, on, on the outside of this this little map area, but you can zoom in on the map. We're zoomed in as far as we can go. Oh, there we go. Now we're zoomed as far as we can go. We can see we've got uh, we've got these these little camels that'll allow us to travel very quickly. We've got all these little scrolls that we can see on here, which are new quests. And then we've got all these different traders, tailor, uh, djinn of wonders, all kinds of different stuff going on here. Potions, uh, armors where we can get all different different things that we're going to need. And there's also even some traders out here in the uh, in the wilderness. So we can we can zoom out and we can see that the game world is actually pretty big and they've got a lot of different stuff kind of fog of war out. So it's kind of neat to see that the game world is is actually fairly large. So you're going to have a lot of different places that you can explore and check out and stuff like that. But let's pick up some more quests here. Let's pick up this one, search for the only survivor, no problem. Let's go talk to this guy over here and get rid of the rats. We can handle that. And you can see as I'm getting more and more quests, I'm got I'm getting multiple kind of green arrows telling me where to go. So let's go over here and turn that turn this in. Let's hit accept. Friend list, chat window, premium stores. Now I know I've been getting skill points, so where exactly do I assign those? So we've got some dinars, we've got gems. Do I go ahead and assign them here? Not too, nope, that actually is gonna take me to the marketplace, so we don't wanna be in there. Not too intuitive as far as the actual assignment of the skill points. So let's talk to this guy. Yep, there we go. Go to the store and buy me an Abacom. So they wanna get you used to the, uh, the, game's, the game's marketplace. So let's go in here. We need, I believe it's under clothing. There we go, an Abacom vest. So let's go ahead and buy that for that guy. Go ahead and hit OK, move along, and there we go. We've got the Abacom and finish the quest and we're gonna get an EXP booster for 120 minutes and a bunch of other stuff. So we can go ahead and hit that and let's go into our, our inventory. Where's that little booster? So let's go ahead and push push our EXP up. So the game gives you some stuff right in the beginning there that, that really helps you to, uh, to move, progress forward much more quickly. So, you can see where we're losing some of our energy and all of that stuff. So let's uh, keep cruising. Here's our little buff for increased EXP. Let's keep following our little green arrows over to here. Do do do. Where are those rats? Once again, it's kind of cool to see players running around and stuff like that. So here we go. We've got our little rat pack, so we're going to fight them versus battle. And we're going to 
run in here and attack this one. Now, unfortunately, because I don't have a... Let's see, this deep wound inflicts heavy damage on the target. Now we don't need heavy damage. We're just going to do that right there. Take him out and take those little rats, that little pile of rats out. Let's let these little rats get close. Then we should be able to uh, use our cleave. There we go. Take them all out. That was one thing that was nice. I was playing with a sage earlier, and I was actually able to get a uh, uh, an area of effect spell that that was allowing me to take all these rats out in one shot. So let's come on. No, I don't want to duel him. So how do I close that? There we go. Let's get off of that. Let's go in here. This is, I believe, the other. Yeah, the 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 survivor. So let's uh, take out this rat pack. There we go. Let's get in here, take this one out. Make it nice and quick and dirty. Get our spellcaster going. All right, let's go, get over here so I can take you guys out with my cleave. There we go, and we can also hotkey. So I was just able to hit the, the, the number six and it was able to take those guys out. So there we go, we've completed, we've completed, I think, both of those quests. Pest control, return, the survivor, uh, not going to be able to see it just yet. So I did a nice little critical there of 135. <laughs> kind of moot point when they only have 18 hit points, but that's all right. So let's come on, get through this. Boom. There we go. It's kind of nice to see we are getting some items almost every single one of these fights. So it's kind of nice to see that the game is rewarding us pretty regularly. So let's see, pest control. Return to so-and-so. All right, so we've completed both these quests. But as, as I was saying, we're getting a bunch of different items. So I've got this got this buckler. There's the satchel I had. We've got this robber buckler that's, that's for use by, by rogues. So it's kind of neat to see I'm getting stuff for, for all different classes and, and all of that good jazz. So let's cruise over here and in turn in our quests. But actually looking at it, I am out of time as I'm running over here to turn in my quest. So I hope you enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And don't forget to comment and like these videos as we really do appreciate it. If you'd like to play or learn more about Nadarim, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.